if I think we should go into predictions for predictions. the season. Yeah, I agree. Right. This is the fun part. Let me get the list out on my phone. Yeah, yeah, get the of the schedule so I can be ready. Okay, Utah at Florida. That's a huge game to start. Like this is this is the tone setter. You know, it's prime time slot on ESPN versus an SEC team. We're probably going to be ranked top ten, top fifteen to start the season. I bet you Florida's ranked. In, I bet you they're fifteen to twenty five. I bet you they're somewhere there. They're always ranking Florida high. Mm-hmm. I mean, when's the last time Florida wasn't ranked to start the season? It's exactly. been a while. Yeah, and Florida so, right. gets ranked high. So this is going to be a ranked game in prime time against an SEC team week one. We can make our mark. This at is a Florida. huge game at Florida. Yeah, yeah at this Florida. is this is Michigan. Uh, at, this, this is, is like, bigger than that. This is like are, this team is better. Yeah, this 100%, team is better. Hundred yeah. percent. But this is if you look at that season, we got to number three in the country. Yeah, that we were we were number one in the first ever college football playoff, like no, like right before that year that season yeah. that that they they came out like the projections because of that Michigan win. Yeah, so we can come out here. And we can go step on their throats at Bill Hill Griffin Stadium. Yeah, at the swamp. Oh, no, Ben Hill. Sorry, Ben Hill. Yeah, the swamp. The swamp. Yeah, the we swamp. will go out there and it starts up hot. Here's my prediction. I think Utah wins 35-21. Okay, do we want to write these down somewhere? I have some paper actually really close. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that's my prediction, 35-21. And I think Cam Rising has a four-touchdown game. One... Two on the ro- two on the ground, two in the air. Two on the ground, two in the air. I like that. Seventy five percent like completion percentage. Just yeah. Very respectable game. And uh, Brent Keithy has a touchdown in the air, and I think the other other guy would be um, Kincaid for sure. Our tight ends go out there and they they dominate. Yeah. Exactly. And I think we have two interceptions. Yeah. This this one, this one I'm torn on. Because it's such a tough game against an SEC opponent to start the season on the road, you know. Mm-hmm. But if I truly believe that this team is as good as I think they are, which I do, I do believe that. Then I have to. Then I think they need to show it, you know. I am going to predict. I think we're going to score a lot. I think we're going to come out and we're going to surprise them. I'm going to go uh, 41-24 Utah. Okay. Okay, so now my prediction for Florida. I write down the scores too. Okay, I'll get that. You can start with that. I don't remember them. <laughs> There's probably start. I agree with the other two. I do think we're going to beat Florida at home. It's a massive game, as you guys have said. It's going to be big, but I think we're going to be ready for it. We're going to come out with intensity. Hmm, let me think of the score. Huh. I don't know. I'm super high on our offense, and I think we might we might surprise all of college football. Honestly, we might be a premier offense in the entire just the entire college football landscape. I think we could we could win 42 to I don't know 20 28. I think 42 28. It's a big win, but I really think that we can accomplish that. Right, right. I think realistically, it's gonna be a little closer than we think. But I think we're just all really high on it, and I. I'm not yeah. sure. I, I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because they got a first-time head coach. They've had a lot of transfers. Yeah. But they they have a lot of talent. It's very true. We'll see. What, we'll see what happens. But it'll be interesting to. I can write these down if you want me to. I got it. I can it'll do be it. interesting to continue along. So, um, go 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 through real quick. Yeah. Kind of starts us uh, Southern Utah. SUU is not a bunch to talk about. We're gonna we're gonna win. I don't think any of us are predicting I'm a loss. I'm gonna do uh, fifty-two to three. Whew, that's a that's a bludgeoning. Yeah, we can probably leave off the mm. W next time and just have our score first and their score second. Yeah. So I'll do 49, to 49 to seven. Um, I think they're way worse than Idaho State that we played two years ago. I wouldn't say way worse, but <laughs> my, this, my, this, this is my take. <laughs> this is Ethan's take. He's defending it. SUU is way worse than Idaho State. Okay, and we shut them out. <laughs> so I'm going. 48-0. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this next one coming up, San Diego State, this is an interesting game. Yeah. This is very interesting. They were good last year, and they'll probably be good again, even though I think they lost mm-hmm. quite a bit. We got them at home this time, though. But it's a this, big one. this is one of the two games that I feel we will not lose. Well, this is the one we're going to get amped up for. We lost to these guys last year. Yeah. You know, we're not going to take these guys lightly. We are going to come out, and I think we're going to stomp them. I'm going to go 45-7. Uh, to 7. I think we're going to kill them. I really do. 
some big scores for yeah. me too. In, I think. Too. <laughs> I obviously think we're gonna win as well. I think forty-five fourteen. I think we give up some points, but I just think this is I gonna be our win. most amped game for a bit. You know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. we're gonna come into this one firing. Like I don't think we're gonna yeah. take this one lightly. Um, I think we're gonna win. I think it's gonna be very, very um, one-sided. But I don't think we're going to score as much as you two. I think we're going 23. 23. I think it's going to be a... San Diego's defense, San Diego State's defense is pretty good, actually. I think they're not defensively bad. we're going to, they're, they're just going to be shut down. They're not going to be able to do anything. I think Clark Phillips is going to have two interceptions this game. Yeah. Uh, type of game. Yeah. He's going to come out. I think out. they'll be breaking in a new quarterback. Exactly. Uh, I think, yeah, they'll come in. They're gonna, they, yeah. they won't score more than Second 14. Half. 14 is the maximum they score. Second half is going to be uh, a new quarterback. That's yeah. my prediction. For them. Really? They're going to switch it halftime? Yeah, yes, so, yeah, next game, Arizona State. This one's an interesting one because we're on the road. It's a trap game for sure. But it's a, yeah, but they, it but is. They know, lost a lot of talent, though, and their, we their program's kind of in shambles we with the investigations <laughs> and stuff. I just, people are transferring away. We yeah. haven't won at Sun Devil Stadium since we've been in the Pac-12. Really? Yep. We didn't lost, know that. We, huh. I think this is for sure the year we break that. Yeah, we this break that. This is for sure the year we We're just a lot that. better team than they are. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thirty-five, fourteen. Hmm. I just. I think they're gonna be really bad. I'm gonna go for myself. Forty-two, seven. I just think they're gonna be a very bad team. Um. I'm going thirty-three, ten. Thirty-three, ten. Um. Yeah. I think. Um. We're gonna have a hard time uh, scoring in the, in the red zone. Um. I just don't think we're our run game's gonna be able to really. Um. Punish them as much as. Uh, Previous years, uh-huh. and previous games, and so I think we're gonna have a lot more field goals. Yeah, um, but I still think we're we're definitely gonna have a really good game. It's not gonna be anything to worry about, and I think it's gonna be another another time where we're gonna be in the top five at, after this. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think I, I think after that fourth game, we're probably top five. That's awesome. And Oregon State coming up. This is the second one that I'm like, I think we're gonna be amped because I agree. You can't come off a loss to these guys. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta avenge that. Like the team yeah. has to have a bad taste in their mouth from that. You know, they mm-hmm. have to. I think Oregon State is really good though. I They're think, really I, I good. think so too. They've got a tough running team. They've got a great defense. Mm-hmm. I really, really, really think they're good. I think this is gonna be close. I think it's gonna mm-hmm. be like a 31 to 24 type game for us winning. Mm, interesting. For me, one thing I really like to look at is at home. At home. Utah is – we're incredible at home. We are much better at home than on the road. And I think that's going to play a massive factor in this game. We're the better team, but at home I think we're a much better team. Their defense is pretty good. Hmm. So I'm going to go like 35, 35-10, I think. Pretty big win. It's good, though. Yeah, I think I think we'll make a statement. I think we're going to be on fire after these wins. Well, I think it's going to be pretty close. I think we're going to win by a touchdown. I think it's going to be 21-14. Uh, I think it's going to be a game really hard nose. It's gonna right. be, I think it's, it feels like this game, for some reason, feels like a BYU type game. I just don't where, think anyone can uh, hold us to 21 points. I, just I don't, I just, I don't so think good. we'll be held yeah. below 30 I just don't, many times I just, the whole season. I just don't think. I did, I'm just. I'm, we even put like 42 on them last year. Yeah, I just feel like this game is going to be. We, I, I just don't feel like we like each other. And so I think it's every, we're going to both play very Super like, hard, yeah, hard yeah. nose. I just think it's going to be a lot of a lot of mistakes going to happen. I think we're going to try to thread the needle. I, I think Cam Rising. It's probably. I think this is going to be Cam's worst game. I think this is the game where he's going to probably lose some of that Heisman type of vibe. Mm-hmm. You know, like oh, that, this guy's the not thing to remember is out. that Oregon State kind of sucks on the road. They were yeah. six and zero yeah. at home last They're year, and like they us. were like two and four on the road. They were really bad. It's a good road. take. It's a good point. Yeah, I, I still think. I just I home think home we win. A big advantage. I just feel like it's gonna be a close game. I think it's gonna be really loud. I think Oregon State is gonna feed off that as well. Yeah. I just feel like it's a good enough team where. Um, they're not going to be affected as much as others coming here at Rice at Golden right. Aaron, mm-hmm. here and here in the Sea of Red. I don't, yeah. know. I, I don't know. I feel the opposite. I think they'll be more affected than other teams. They I, just, I definitely they don't, see they that. play well away from home. So and I this, just think Utah with big home advantage. This next one's interesting. Uh-huh. This is, I feel like, the biggest trap game on the Yes. Yes. At UCLA. This is, pro- this is probably game day. It might UCLA be. UCLA has uh-huh. the easiest schedule of all time. Yes, they do. And they're, they're going to be coming out. I, I am... Very confident they're going to be undefeated at this point. Yeah, it Same just depends us. on what other games are that week. 
if there's other big ones. For sure. But I, this very well could be. Maybe this is a game that we all try to road trip out to. Because we yeah. know UCLA yeah. fans don't really feel the same. Oh, me and Connor yeah. are actually going out there. To the UCLA go. game? Uh-huh. <laughs> We're so going like to the UCLA maybe game. Maybe we can piggyback on you guys. Yeah, and then... Do it We're all coming together. back and going to the USC game. We're, we hope to spend a week out there. There you go. Wow. So yeah. that's that's our plan. Spend well, a week. doing school? Oh, so you're just going to skip school. <laughs> we're just doing it online. Enough. There you go. We were just planning on going out there, doing school online, missing whatever we needed to. Yeah, maybe, maybe coming maybe back. Maybe Ethan can come down for yeah, a day. Exactly. I, I was actually going to ask you guys about that because we're not 21. We can't go to a hotel or anything. <laughs> so we get the hotel. We would you obviously let pay. Us stay we, there. Yeah, we would pay our fair share, of and course. And for us getting the hotel, we could yeah, stay If there you guys want to stay like there that. one night or something, for sure. we'll pay for it because you guys got us the hotel. Yeah, for sure. I think this game is going to be a blow, not a blowout, a shootout. I, yeah, think I agree. We I totally agree. agree. This game, I, agree. I think this is going to be the be- one of the best games of the whole co- whole year. This might be a Rose Bowl type game. Yeah, I think. Like, I think. Um, I mean, that, be, it, is, it is at Rose I Bowl think, Stadium. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! How did that happen? I don't know. My mini fridge just like Here, pause it for a second to fix that. Exploded. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be we'll right, right back, back. <laughs> after a short intermission, boys. Yeah, we're back. We're back after that short intermission. So what happened is I have a mini fridge in the room here that we're recording. And a, a soda in there got so cold it actually exploded. And it had such force it opened the door and made of the mini sound. fridge. It was a massive bang. So, so we're that, back. I felt like the glass window broke over there. I, <laughs> I like, know. So that's, like I thought the window broke. I felt like, some, like a kid threw a ball in it. Hit the window or something. Yeah, and it shattered. It was crazy. It was crazy. Okay. Oh, it's going back. Okay, back. We're at the UCLA game, Utah at, at UCLA. At the Rose Bowl. Yeah, huge shootout. I think we all agree on that. Yeah, uh-huh. that's where we left off. I was saying I think it's going to be a huge shootout. And after, a, I think after a really rough, hard game for Cam, I think Cam probably have to throw an interception or two for Oregon State. He's going to come out and have a master class of a performance. I think we're going to win 59 to 42. Ooh, 59. Big game. Yeah. That's a I lot think, of points. I think Cam Rising, that's eight That's eight total touchdowns in a field goal. Um, I think Cam Rising is going to have six of those total those touchdowns. Um, maybe six in the air, five, five in the air, and one on the ground. Who knows what happened. And I think we're going to have a pick six and a and some more other things and some rushing touchdowns. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I agree this is a shootout. I think it will be a little less, though. I think we're going to win 45 to 38. Very. That's that's definitely probably more likely. But hey, go big or go home. I mean, we put up like what, like fifty two on Stanford, and we totally took our foot off the gas. We could have put up way more. Forty. What was it again? Forty five. What? Uh, Forty five thirty eight. And so, I do think we're, it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be tough to stop their offense. We're going to be kind of beat up after a physical game versus Oregon State. Um, they've got tons of weapons. You know, their defense is very suspect, but they uh-huh. have a ton of weapons. And I think that they'll be coming in right and high. I think they'll be undefeated coming in this game. Exactly. There's not mm. many teams that can really even touch them that are coming up. It's like That's Bowling true. Green and like, it's like terrible teams. South they're, Alabama. They're terrible. Yeah, it's like teams that like are okay, but I mean it's UCLA. They can lose anybody. You know. That's so true. Charles Barkley. The teams are playing are terrible. They're terrible. terrible. <laughs> and so this will be a high profile matchup, and I think the youths come out the better, even though it's probably going to be tight for a pretty good portion of the game there. I think at the end of the third quarter, it's going to be a the blowout for the rest of the remainder of the game. Right. I think it's going to be tied at by at halftime. And I think um, University of Utah defense is going to step up and really kind of shove down their throat, and they're not going to mm-hmm. make it past the 50 yard line at the end of the second half. <laughs> I think the Utes score 52, but we give up 38. That's what I think is going to happen. Could see that. I think it'll be pretty tight, but going into the fourth, I think we'll start to extend our lead a bit. Yeah. I think our uh, how much bigger we are than some of these teams. We're just a lot more physical. Yeah. I think it will kind of really show here at UCLA. Yeah, I agree. We, we tend to bully them on the ground. We do. We yeah. really do. I mean, you look at our recent history, we've killed them for like the last five years. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't lost them in a while. Especially on the ground. Tavon yeah. Thomas had, I think, four touchdowns last year. And then you look at, uh, what's his, I can't remember his name. Um, he got signed by 49ers. Um, ran for 300 and plus yards against UCLA. Oh, Joe Can, Williams. Joe Williams. Yeah. Can out of retirement. That game in broke the University of Utah record for a season. For yeah, season. Oh, that, that was an game. insane game. And that's against UCLA. I think the yeah. same thing's going to happen. I think Chip Kelly, um, great offensive coach. Defense is just going to fall. Defense is abysmal. They're losing de- a lot of defensive players. Their defense is going to be terrible. Like I agree. Easily, not easily, but we're going to score 50. Yeah. 
I kind of feel the same way about the next game, USC, where um, I this agree one's with at that. home. And frankly, I think this is our statement game. I think this is the one that people think is going to be really close, like the Oregon game, really tight. Uh-huh. And I think we're going to kill them. I think same, that, same. I think their offense is really good, but they're going to have a very tough time in probably the late night slot, probably the 8 p.m. Mountain Ooh. Time game. In Salt Lake. It's going to be loud. It's October. It's going to be loud. It's going to be cold. I don't know how they're going to handle that. High elevation. Uh-huh. Caleb Williams coming from Oklahoma to come Ooh. play up in the mountains. Yeah, and like frankly, neither of their lines is very good. I think uh-huh. we're going to get a good push. I think we're going to bully them, and I think we're going to hold their offense to lower than we think. I'm going 42-21. Mm. Hey. I Me, it. a lot of the same points you made. I mean, we just beat them at home for the first time. It was that first time ever. In yeah. like 100, 108 yeah. years. 100, 100 years. doesn't yeah. count if it's over 100 years ago. If exactly. it's over like First 60, time ever, it's basically. like... If it's I over just, 30, really. I just can't imagine Honestly. them beating us at home, especially this year. Our team's better than last year. Their team likely is better than last year as well. But I just don't think they can change that much. So I'm going to go... I think their defense is going to be terrible next year. I think we're going to score 49, and they'll end up with 28. 49-28. I don't think we're going to score as much as y'all agree, but I think our defense is going to hold them to a lot less. Mm-hmm. Um, I think our defense is going to show out, and Clark Phillips, Van Tillinger, um, see some Blander sacks and I think, I think Caleb Williams is not going to be prepared to come up here and play in this high elevation, play Same. cold night game against. I think he'll struggle passing. I think it's going to be really hard for him, and it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to shock him. I think yeah. um, he's a great quarterback, but he, I think he had a lot of hype around him being – uh, Oklahoma. But like you look at his stats, they're almost identical to Rising. Exactly. But like against much easier yes. defenses. Yeah. I mean, he had Kansas on his schedule. And he struggled with Kansas. He's. I, they, think, I they don't. He's never played I think he's defense. overrated. I think, I think he's, he's an quarterback. overrated quarterback. I think he's a great quarterback. But he's not someone that puts fear into my heart like Marcus Mariota did. Or CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud. I was Stroud. terrified of Stroud. You know, or, exactly. even, or even Herbert. You know, at Oregon. Yeah. yeah. He, he's exactly. not someone. Honestly, you know, or Slovis. Even. Yeah, I was going to say, I was more afraid of Slovis than I am of Caleb Williams. Same. The, 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 the one thing that Caleb Williams has going for him is he's a great runner. Okay. And, so, mm-hmm. and that yeah. makes me a little nervous. But well, I think with it's it's the seventh game of the year. We'll be, we'll be established by then. I think our linebackers are going to – it's either they're going to be make clicking. Break. It's I just make think it's either they're going to be very good, or at this point they're going to be the, one of the best linebacker groups in the country, Yeah. or they're going to be really rough. And so I feel like – at this point, with the, how we're how we're going right now, obviously I think they're gonna be really really Teams elite. Teams are not ready for rice cycles at night. Late in they're season. not. It's cold. It's loud. The elevation is insane. This will be the highest elevation he's ever played at. Exactly. Like by far. Most of the team, they, I don't think they're returning more than six starters total. Well, like they got a ton of dudes on the offensive side of the ball, a couple on the defense, but like nothing really that like changes exactly. what their defense was fundamentally last year. Yeah. Exactly. And Caleb Which Williams has trash. never played a defensive minded team as Utah. Yeah. No. Coming from the Big Ten, it's a shootout. N- nothing with year. nothing with a line as good as we will have. Uh-huh. Nothing with a run game as good as we will have. You know, like we will be the best team he's played in his time in Oklahoma. In his mm-hmm. time in college. Yeah. And who who are they even playing beforehand? Cause like, could they? They play of, Oregon, I think, before us. No, they don't play Oregon this year. Oh, oh yeah, I remember so, that. So, so they've got um, Rice. They've got Rice, Stanford, Fresno, Oregon, Arizona State, Washington State, uh, Washington State, and then we're in that one. But I just put it up here because it's a favorite. So they don't have too That's many actual easy. tests. That's pretty easy. We will be by far the best team. Yeah, the they won't have been play. tested very much. Yeah, and especially coming in. That Oregon State game will be key. We'll see how they play against like a run-based team. Uh-huh. I think that will, that give will us determine a lot our to, game plan. I think that will give us a lot to think about. I think a, real, a, a game for them that's kind of it's going to. I think it's going to be really hard. I think Washington State's going to be a lot better um, than like people think. I think they're going to they're going to lose more games than they did last year, but they're going to be a tougher team to, to win. So I think coming out, they're at it's Washington. It's a trap game. It's a trap game. They're at yeah. Washington, right? At Washington State, yeah. Mm-hmm. So coming from Washington State to Utah, that's gonna be a rough two weeks. Yeah. I think, I think UC, USC will probably come out here undefeated as well. I think we're gonna have. Two. I bet they'll drop a game. Yeah, somewhere. I don't. I don't think, I don't think they're really. that good. I think they'll. I, I, think I they'll don't drop think game. they're that. I just good. don't think they have any challenge right now. Even with no they're challenge, I mean, they'll they'll State. lose one of these. Stanford. Games. Stanford always had a lot of talent. If they can put it I mean, together, Stanford beat them last year. Yeah, yeah. McKee is pretty good. I just I don't see them getting that much better where they come in undefeated. Like I think their us. offense would be a lot better, but their defense. Their defense is gonna be worse even. And like even their lines, I don't feel like they're super strong. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Um, I do think they'll have a drop the game, but I think they'll still be ranked in the top 25 with one I loss. Agree. I think they'll be top 15 with one loss. 
Oh, 100%. Yeah, uh-huh. with, with Lincoln Riley, they're going to get so much. And I think every if, win, I, it's I like. I think if we're undefeated up to this point, 6 and 0, I think we'll probably be like top five or six. Yeah, I could see us number six. Yeah. yeah. I feel like um, at this point, I do have a buddy that's on USC, and so it's kind of like. Ooh. And so uh, hopefully, I, I'd love to see him play, and I'd love to see, uh, see uh, Tavon Thomas um, pummel him. Yeah, <laughs> um, this would be fun to see. Um, but uh, it would be cool. Shout out Taylor to Katoa. Anyways, what's our next game? Washington, Washington State? State. I think this is a big trap game. I agree. Traveling Same. to Pullman after you know probably a very emotional game against USC. Uh-huh. You know because we're gonna be amped up. You know USC leaving to the Big Ten like this. We are gonna be on them. You know. Exactly. And like USC has a foot out the door already. I just I don't see them beating us. We just have more to play for. I feel like and just a better team. I agree. Yeah. So Washington State. I actually think this is gonna be a really close game. I agree. It's going to be like the Arizona game this year. I think it's going to be 38-34 Utah. Yeah, I'm going to go with a similar vein as that. I think it's going to be shockingly close. I think we're actually going to be down two touchdowns in the first half. But I think we'll come back that. from it. It'll, it'll be like 14-3 to three or something. But I think we bring it back with... I, I still think we score 30. I say we score 30, 30-24. to 24. It's going to be ugly, but I think we'll win it. I'm I'm in the same boat. I think 20-21. Yeah, it just, it's the perfect position trap game. Mm-hmm. I think uh, we have a game coming up that's a little bit. Oh, gosh, bit, yeah. I have, I have my one loss planned. Yeah. Me too. I think, I think we all have our one I loss. I think Arizona <laughs> is definitely uh, a, a team that we can lose to. Yeah, Arizona the next week. I think they'll be improved. But do I think, I think we'll be ready enough for to beat us? Especially I guess when it was so close last year. We'll be ready I, I for think we'll be ready. I think we'll be ready. I guess we're at Arizona. We're at home. I, yeah, I, we're I, at home. I forget home. that we're at home. Um, so we'll see. Um, I think we're going to win 42-14. I'm just going to start it out. I just I think they'll be better. I don't think we'll have a repeat of last year. And at home, especially if our team is as good at undefeated, I just don't see Arizona coming into Rice Eccles and beating an undefeated Utes. I agree. I'm going 42-17. I'm going 38-17, very similar. Yes, yeah, Stanford next week. This is an interesting game to me because it's at home, but also Stanford projects to be improved. We put a beating down on them last year. Yeah, We played a high school team but last like, year. We beat them like down the last is, year. Like, I was Stanford, at the game. Stanford is good. They usually are a pretty tough challenge, and I expect that they'll be a lot better this year. Like, I think they're going to win more games than people think. Like, I think that they'll rebound fairly well. I think they just had a down year because they had quite a few injuries, and they just didn't have it. It was just the year after a COVID season, and they were kind of just, like, all wonky. So I'm okay. I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to go uh, 31-21, beating Stanford. See, I, I agree that they're going to be better, but I think we're going to still absolutely run through them. I think it's going to be 40-17. I don't think it's going to be really close. I think they'll probably score two touchdowns in the fourth quarter when we kind of give up. Yeah, I think 35-14 is where I'm going. I just feel like we're just going to rest a little bit, honestly, before our game next week. We might, I don't know. I just don't think we're going to blow them out that hard, but I think we'll have a decently comfortable win. 31-21. Yeah, okay. Big, huge game. Yeah. Second to last game of the season, we're going to be 10-0 and as far as we all project. Ooh. Coming into this game, at Oregon, at Oregon, Austin. 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 they're probably, gonna be mad. Probably the toughest place to play in the Pac-12 besides our stadium. Uh-huh. Is Austin. I think this is where we lose. I, I I I hate to say, I think we lose here. I think it's a good game. I think we lose off a overtime field goal that we and we we don't score. I think we lose. Um, I think we lose twenty-seven, not twenty-seven, twenty-four. 24. Hmm. What about you? You go in and a single overtime. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna play devil's advocate here and say that we win. Who go. knows how good Oregon's gonna be? What if they're not that great coming into this game? Do you still think they're gonna beat us? I think well, I think they're pretty think, good. I, I, think think Nicks, I think they're one or two losses. I think I don't Bo think Bo Nix is, is a, that good. I think Bo Nixon is a drastic improvement over. Uh, I wouldn't say drastic. But I, he's he had a good he's freshman a year, but then I he just Anthony was kind Brown of. Anthony Brown had games where he was dominant. Anthony like that Brown Ohio State game, he killed it. Yeah, you know, like, but I just I don't I I just they lost Travis Dye. I didn't think he was very good anyways, but they liked him. They I just don't feel have like Thibodeau. they have a lot of posi- like we dominated them on the line already, and they had a top five pick on their line. I think yeah. yeah. I just, huh? 
if we were to lose a game, I can, this I can is it. yeah, because the atmosphere is just going to be the pressure is going to be yeah, huge. it's going to be monumental on us. If because, we can come out and win this game, we are. If we win this game, I have all faith in the world. We can win the college football playoff. I. Yeah. If we if, if we make see, it, but like if we, I think truly, if we win this game, we can win the conference. See, I, I agree. truly believe we are the level of team that we are the best team in the Pac-12. Clearly, and so I, I think I have that. to pick this game to win. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, I'm going the same vein as you. It's like if we were to lose one, this is it. But it's like if I had to bet right now, win or loss, I'm saying win. You know? Yeah, I I'm going with the classic formula. We score 38, they improve by field goal. 38 13. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. 38 7, 38 10, 38 and 13. It sounds a bit wild because it looks like. What was your score again? See, like, this is, this is how we yet. felt before the Oregon Let's game, see. though. Number three Oregon coming I know, out, we're, we're like, like, ooh. Oh my gosh, if we can even win by one point, this is going to be the closest exactly. game of the year, the most intense. Yeah. I and just... I just don't think Oregon has a talent to match up with us. First year head coach, quarterback Same. change, losing some pretty exactly. severe pieces. Exactly. Like I it's, think they'll be the se- I think they're the second best team in the pack. Yeah. But I think we're just that far ahead of them. I agree. I think we'll win this game. I think we even put 42 on them, 42-28, I would say. And when you first see this game you're like, "Oh, that's scary. Like we're playing Oregon at home next season after kind of sabotaging their college football playoff hopes. Like they're going to yeah. be up for this and then game." on the road at Colorado last one. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like when you look at it, it's like, "Wow, you're predicting Utah to go undefeated." But it's like I'm looking at each of the games individually. Because it's like, do I think we'll have a loss somewhere in there? Yeah, I do. I don't know what week it will be, but I think we should win. I every do think week we'll finish season. eleven and one, but I can't predict what game exactly. Has. It might be Oregon. It might be UCLA. It might be USC. it might be a random game, a Washington <laughs> State or an Arizona State. I don't think we'll go undefeated, but looking at each game separately, I think we should win every game this year. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm saying. And we do have one more left on the schedule. I think we will be the favorite in every game this year. I like agree. Like the Vegas favorite. As we should be. So Colorado. What I think we we'll be this? Colorado. I don't think it will be our particularly close game. It's last. We'll have some pretty high expectations going into this game, especially if we've done as well as we thought we will. We'll be Pac-12 championship bound, perhaps even playoff bound. So I... Th- <laughs> I think we might rest a little this game, honestly. We might only win 35 to 10, a little less scoring production than usual. Uh, for me, oh, sorry, I cut you off. Oh, that's good. I was, I was just going to finish it by saying 35 10, we kind of coast to a win. We don't pull out any new plays. We just play very, we run the ball a lot, just kind of stall. Maybe I'm actually going to adjust mine even. I think we'll win 30 to 10. I don't even think we'll get 35. We I, just are going to take a lot of the clock with each drive, just running. I think, uh, obviously, I pre- predicted a, kind of a heartbreaker loss against Oregon. Um, I think we're going to come out there and just say we're still one of the best teams in the country win 37-3. Th- yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually have a very different result than both of you guys. Well, I think um... we're going to win 28-27. <laughs> what? I think, I think this is going to be, we're going to take our eye off the ball. It, we, we just beat Oregon. We're 11-0. We've clinched the Pac-12. Uh, we're, we're in the Pac-12 title game. I feel like and we're on the road. This has trap game written all over it to me. I feel like we come it's out true. slow. I didn't take into account the road. I'm gonna stick with my score. Though. We we have we come out slow, and I think that we're up like 28 to 21, and they get a field goal and they get two field goals to like bring it to 27. So huh. I think I think it's gonna be very close. I honestly, but I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm just predicting that we're gonna barely survive because yeah. every every college football playoff team has one of those. Where they like, barely yeah. Survive. I think this is. I just be think that's one. gonna happen against like Arizona State or something, or yeah, you know. I kind of agree with you. I do think we're gonna take our foot off the gas a bit. I just think we're good enough that like we'll still beat them by fifteen to twenty. Yeah. So obviously, we all have us as one loss or undefeated coming into the. Uh huh. So, so we're gonna be in the Pac-12 championship game. Uh huh. Um, I'll start us off. I think I have a little bit different of a thing. I think Oregon State. Ooh. He's going to come out of the north. I can see that. Well, I divisions think, don't matter anymore. Yeah, divisions don't matter. Yeah, it's just top two. So it doesn't have to be who comes out of the year? north yeah. this year. Oh, then I changed that. It could that. be USC. I changed that. I actually, ah. Eh, no, it could I'm be gonna UCLA. Keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I think the Oregon, Oregon State game is going to come down. To, it's going to decide it. It's going to decide it. I think Oregon State is going to go and win. I think they're, they're at Oregon State, I believe. 
Um, I, I could be wrong. I'm going to double check. Yeah, that. it's at or it was at Austin last year. So, so I think they're Oregon at Oregon State, and I think Oregon State's going to be a two-loss team. Mm, really? That I think good? Oregon State is only going to lose to us, and I think they're going to lose to someone else. I don't know who, but I think I check their Oregon, is Oregon is also State gonna, that good this year. I don't know. I yeah, just, they're I, pretty. I mean, they, they, they didn't lose barely anyone. Yeah, uh, and they. What was their record last year? They hurt us. They lost four games. Four games. That's not eight and four. Yeah, hey. they were one game away from the Pac-12 title. Yeah. Wow. So if, if they beat Oregon, they were in the Pac-12 title game instead of Oregon. Wow. La- last game of the season. So. Okay. Hmm. And I think they're going to have a chip on the shoulder, and they're going to come out, and they're going to win, and they're going to be they're going to come out end the season ten and two, um, and they're going to they're going to probably lose to uh, one of their start of the seasons or uh, like a Stanford or a Washington. You know, nothing crazy. I think they'll either have a one loss here in the Pac-12 or two, and I think Oregon will have three losses in the Pac-12. The I Oregon agree with loses, that. Oregon loses to two. I think they lose to a team that they should win, Washington, and I can see them losing to a uh, another team like UCLA. Yeah, or like a Washington so. State type. Yeah, they always have one of those. They always lose a Stanford too. It's yeah. the last time they beat in Stanford. Yeah, it's exactly. weird. Stanford. I don't think Oregon's them. that good. I think Oregon wants to beat us. It's a. It's, I think Oregon yeah. is a step back from last year. So I know I that's agree. a hot take, but I, I think they. I, I don't. I don't think it's a big step. I think it's a slight step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just. I just feel like Utah is going to go there and they're going to have a hard game, hard time, and they're not going to win that game. But they're not even going to play them again. They're not going to worry about it, and they're going to go out there and stomp Oregon State. I thirty-five seventeen. Ooh, I agree with you. I think that it's going to be Oregon facing. I think it's going to be Oregon facing us, not Oregon State in the Pac-12 title game. Um, I think they're going to be three loss. They're going to lose to Georgia, and then mm-hmm. they're going to lose to yeah, us. Georgia, hundred percent. Yeah, but that doesn't count. Then they'll drop face. another. Or still, but but three I, loss. they're going to lose to Georgia. They're going to lose to us, and then they're going to drop one other. So I think they're going to be nine and three coming into the title game. Um, yeah, and I think I think we're going to win, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than last time. I think mm-hmm. I think it's going to be thirty-five to twenty-four is we're going to win. This Pac-12 time, and it's close most of the game. We pull away in the fourth. Yeah, that's that's completely my take as well. Oregon. I think we face a three-loss team in the Pac-12 championship, not three conference losses, just three, just three overall. overall. I think it's either USC or Oregon, and they both have two conference losses and mm-hmm. one other. Loss. I, yeah, that's I can honestly see Oregon take. coming to the season losing four games. I can see I could Oregon, too, but I don't think if they lose uh-huh. four games that it, they, they would make they would make it. Saying, no, yeah, I agree. I, saying, I, I can see Oregon uh-huh. losing four games total this year. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Oregon is the most likely opponent we're going to face. I think USC is second, and then I put OSU as third. Same, exact same rankings for me for the same reasons as well. There's no way they're beating Georgia, so that's one loss already. Yeah, we're hopefully we beat them during the regular season. I think we will, and then I don't know. I think we'll beat them in the Pac-12 championship. Hmm, I'm trying to decide because we'd still be undefeated by this point <laughs> if it's intense, what we yeah. predict. I mean, I get, I That's do why expect I kind of predicted one loss. a closer game because I think we're yeah. gonna be nervous. You I know. do expect a loss somewhere in the schedule, so I'm just gonna say we have one loss, and they're like a three-loss team. I think we'll beat them. Um, 35-28. It'll be a one-touchdown game. Close game, game yeah. Yeah, it'll be a one-touchdown. Yeah, I I think they are a team that will get stronger as the season goes on. Uh-huh. As well. It's funny we all predicted we're score thirty five in that Pac twelve championship game. Yeah, <laughs> fun to see. <laughs> Interesting. Um, with all that being said, I think sadly, uh, the University of Utah will not make the playoff this year. You don't um, think so? I do not think so. I think that one loss. I think for us to make it into the Pac twelve championship, we have to go undefeated throughout the year. Not the Pac-12. Into the, the playoff? The, yeah, the playoff. College playoff. So you're expecting an SEC team is going to edge two, us out in there? Yeah, I think two SEC. I think Clemson will go undefeated. Hmm. Stomp pile through the ACC. So they'll be probably two. I think Georgia or Alabama will be one and three. Or um, two and four. And then we'll get left and out then, for a big and 10 team. Ohio State, yeah. yeah. And I think I think that's the case. I think uh, that's basically what it's going to be. For I think year. to make it 100%, we have to be undefeated. I agree. Agreed. We could get left out as one loss. If Pac-12 we're one champions. loss, I don't think we'll be in. Exactly. I think sadly, we'll be in there. Yeah. Sadly, depending on everything, how everything turns out, say if Alabama loses two games, yeah. you know, on that end, I still think they would take two loss to Alabama over a one loss Pac-12 championship. Uh, sadly, did, did they, they win the they, SEC? They, did they win? Even they, if they, they did, they have to take us. Even they'd if have they to. did, I have two loss. Two no, losses it's awesome as ever made. I know, but it's Alabama. Two losses and you're in the... They'd have to have dominated the SEC See, that, championship. That, that's, that's what I'm hoping. Dominated. There's one SEC team that's undefeated. Everyone else has multiple losses. That's what I I'm hope. hoping the same thing for the Big Ten. I just, and I'm, I'm hoping just Clemson so... has one loss. And then I'm hoping whoever the Big 12 championship is has lost. I think two. I can see Ohio State and Clemson going undefeated being one and two. But, like, the thing is there's Clemson never... going to be that good? The thing is, is there's never been even three undefeated teams in the college football playoff. There's only been two maximum. Mm-hmm. And so, 
I don't see that trend breaking this year. And Same. so if we're undefeated, I think we're in. If we're undefeated, I would say I that we are in definitely. So only way, oh, yeah, if we go undefeated, one we're loss, in. I still believe the only we're in, the only personally. way I could see, the only way I could see us being undefeated and not getting in, undefeated Alabama, undefeated Clemson, undefeated Ohio State, and Georgia, who lost one loss as he's who who lost the closest game ever to Alabama, one point loss to Alabama. Yeah. I think they leave the I think they leave us out at that point. I agree, which is annoying. It sucks, but obviously not being favored, Cincinnati did break that mold. Where they leave it open to a team like Utah, you know? Yeah, the last year was a bit chaotic, though. It I don't was. feel like in a normal season, since Agreed. it really has a Agreed. chance, yeah. So we'll uh, see what goes down. Um, like I said, I think Utah loses one game. I think we all agree. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're going to be undefeated. The likelihood of that happening is, is relatively likely. It's Comparative not, to other seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's our best chance ever. Yeah, it's the best chance we've ever had. But, so, like, um, but to see to see what kind of goes down, I think the University of Utah will end in, as a Rose Bowl. Um, we'll be we in the Rose Bowl playing Michigan, and we'll win. And we'll win forty-two to seven. Wow. I feel like this is where style points comes in. We need to make statements in every uh-huh. single game. Exactly. We need to be so dominant that they cannot leave us out. I don't think. I don't think. I'm not sure if we're capable of that because, like, there are other good teams. Exactly. Yeah. Like, our, like, if we're really that good, then we'll make statements. But like, we just need to do that. I don't think there's a team outside of the Big Four that can beat Utah this year. Um, I think there are teams that can beat Utah, but well, I think the, Utah's better. I, I, yes, Utah's yes. better than I think anyone, I feel in, like. You mean, in a like, bubble. by in that, a bubble. you mean, like, Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Clemson. I feel Clemson. like Utah is better than everyone but Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, Clemson. Those are my four. I can even argue, like, depending on how the you season could argue goes, Clemson. you could argue yeah. Clemson just to see uh-huh. who their quarterback is. I don't think you can argue that. The other three, yeah, three are better no. than us. No. No. But, like, everyone else. Leaps and bounds. Everyone Sadly. else, I would take Utah on the field. Like, I know that that would be crazy to, like, people on national media. But, like, yeah. I, but, like put them on the field together, I think Utah wins. Agreed. Uh-huh. And so that's why I predicted no losses, because I think our team is that special. I think this is... I think this is the year. I think this is our banner year for being a Power 5 school. I think we need it this year. I think it's perfect timing. Mm-hmm. You know? And, like, I think this is where we put Utah on the map. I think this is it. I agree. There's yeah. no better time than right now. This is the best opportunity we've ever had to be a powerhouse in college football. Like, this is the year. Like, this is it. We just came off a Rose Bowl appearance. The Pac-12 around us is relatively weak, I would say. USC... UCLA are leaving. They're here for two more seasons. Like this is, this is kind of the end of the Pac-12 as we know it these next couple of years, and this is the year to make a statement to get into the college football playoff, or even just win the Pac-12 again. So yeah, definitely could see us going undefeated. I think one loss is the most likely outcome, and then it all depends how the cards fall, whether we get a college football playoff, or or not. I think, uh, like I said before, I want to go back to. I think we will. We'll go. We'll be a one-loss team. We'll go eleven and one with as the pack. Well, I guess we'll th- uh, twelve and one. I think we'll go thirteen one for the remainder of the season, the whole season. Mm-hmm. I think we'll win. We're thirteen and two maybe because we'll have that fourteenth game in the rose in the in the playoff or the rose bowl or something. Ooh. I think the rose bowl we we get there and we win. Oh, so we'll be thirteen and one then. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we'll be thirteen and one. I think I said earlier. I think we will go to the rose bowl, and we will absolutely dismantle where we play. You know what, Wisconsin. Michigan. I don't care who we play. I think we win. I think we, and we win by a lot hmm. because I I think at this point we're going to be motivated to win it. Yeah, yeah I agree. At this point, we're we're putting our. I think if we go out there and we are one loss to the undefeated, we're putting our chips into the to the big to the big. It's like if the pack rolls this ma- dismantling, we're throwing our chips all maybe in. The SEC, you know. Yep. Yeah. Maybe, who knows? Maybe the SEC. Will I take mean, it. they can't let the Big Ten have all the time zones. Exactly. They're just exactly. one region because exactly. the networks will pay for the full nationwide yeah. coverage. It's like the NFL. I say, wow, we have exactly. around the clock. Don't you think the watching. SEC needs to expand west? I feel like I they agree. Do. See, and I, I, I think, I think at this point, if not we, saying that we'll get that, I think that's very unlikely. I think the yeah. likeliest is we stay in the Pac-12. Second is Big Twelve. I agree. Um, but at this point, if if we can throw our chips in, and I think. The Rose Bowl is the perfect is the granddaddy of them all. Yeah, it's the perfect stage to say, "Hey, we're better than you." Mm-hmm. So we deserve to be in we're the here Big now. Ten. We're powerhouse. We develop people. We have great teams every year, year in and year out. You uh-huh. know what? I'm throwing caution to the wind. Fifteen and zero. <laughs> Fifteen and zero. <laughs> You've got me believing as well. <laughs> you know, Fifteen I just, and zero. I'd love it. I'd, you know, I'd love it. Um, 